Rivers are the lifeline of Indian civilization. The Godavari is one such river that has played a pivotal role in shaping the history of India and has helped it evolve as an agricultural nation. With its source from Trimbakeshwar, the river travels for 1,465 kilometers, draining a basin of 3,12,812 square kilometers. Yearly, millions of cubic feet of water from the Godavari flows into the Bay of Bengal underutilized, while thousands of farmers face irrigation problems due to lack of water. To save these waters and divert them towards the irrigation and drinking needs of Andhra Pradesh, the idea of the Polavaram project was born. The 1118.9 meter long spillway is being constructed to aid the construction of the main dam. It wasn't an easy task to build this. The ground had to be dug up to the bedrocks, clearing the gravel to lay concrete from there. The spillway, built with 48 gates, is capable of releasing 50 lakh cusacks of water. Each gate is about 20 meters long, 16 meters wide and weighs about 300 tons. Hydraulic technology is used to operate these gates. After the spillway is constructed, a concrete bed will be laid underneath the spill channel. Two temporary coffer dams will be built to the sides of the main dam to divert the flow of the river to construct the earth come rock fill dam. These coffer dams will be constructed by jet grouting process inside the ground. The earth come rock fill dam made for Polavaram project is a masterpiece in the engineering history of India. The Godavari river is set on the banks of deep layers of sand. There is a need to hold the water on the sand as well as the groundwater. With the help of these machines, a concrete wall was dug and filled with a mixture of rock and concrete to construct a diaphragm wall which is about 1,397 meters long, 1.5 meters wide and runs along a stretch of 95 meters of the canyon. This dam holds all the water from flowing to the other side. The highest flood rate recorded on the Godavari till date is 30 lakh cusacks. However, the earth come rock dam is currently being built to withhold a maximum of 50 lakh cusacks of water. Another significant component of the Polavaram project is the 960 megawatt hydropower plant that is being built towards the corner of earth come rock dam. The central government assigned the responsibility of building this power project to AP Genco. The purpose of the Polavaram Reservoir is to eradicate the drought in the state of Andhra Pradesh. For the same reason, canals are being constructed on both sides of the project. Drawing water to the right and left sides of the canal with the help of gravitational force is a highly commendable part of the design. The water enters the right canal with the help of the head regulator and travels for 174 kilometers through the canals of Peddarala Kalwa, Kowada Kalwa, Yerra Kalwa, Gunderu, Tamileru, Ramileru, Chimalavagu and touches Krishna River through the Budameru Canal near Vijayawada. The upper stream of Krishna will be diverted to Penna and provides water for irrigation needs of Rayalaseema. The water entering the left canal reaches Visakhapatnam through the canals of Vinukonda, Burrada, Yeleru, Pampa, Tandava, Varaha and Sharada canal, travelling across 181.5 kilometers. The left canal will provide water for about 4 lakh acres of land in East Godavari and Visakhapatnam districts along with 23.44 TMC's water for drinking and industrial needs of Visakhapatnam. With machines worth 2,000 crores and 4,000 men working day and night. Polavaram is Asia's biggest dam being constructed. 
By eradicating the drought from the geography of the state, Olavaram has become the lifeline of Andhra Pradesh, providing an added benefit to almost all the river basins from Anantapur district to Shrikakulam.